again, this is a this is an acronym for our philosophy for sparring. All right. So again, if if you're a fight gym, if you're you know if you're going with someone that you guys are both equal skill level and you're competitive, this doesn't really apply. This is more for number one, different sexes, yeah, girl guy, different weight classes, different skill levels, so that no one gets in a brawl, especially if you're brand new and you don't know anyone's skill level. Nimble Tiger tags all day he goes stands for no. No means no. Right? If you want to go with someone and you're like, you don't like them, they go too hard, you can always say no at any time, no matter what. Even if you guys are sparring, right, and he kicks you kind of hard and like, not feeling it, no. So don't ever be afraid to say no to someone. It's your body, it's your training, it's your health. If you're not comfortable, no means no. And this is an order of importance as well. Yeah. Uh, talk, right? Means if someone hits you kind of hard, tell them, talk about it. Right? They kick you with a hard leg, you'd be like, all right, let's tone it down, dude. Give them a look, talk. But like, that's one of the biggest things. Some schools will say, hit as hard as you want to get hit. That's too hard to judge. Yeah. JC's hard is different from Maddox's hard. So it's like, it just keeps going without anyone communicating. And then there's a brawl. So talk. Tag. Don't even think about it as sparring. Think of it as like a game of tag, right? So if you're playing a game of tag, you're not going all the way through them. Just tag them. Just touch them, okay? Again, this is for, this isn't for, you're not telling these people at the fight gyms this. They fight how they want to fight. But regular people, yeah, different sexes, different skill levels, different weights. Think of it more of like a game of tag rather than fighting. And then that'll reframe your techniques and intensity. Acknowledge. Someone gets a good kick on you, a good strike, give them a little smile, give them a little head nod. You don't have to fist bump each time, but if you kick someone solid right in the stomach and it's a good, clean kick, and they just keep coming at you like, I could have went way harder, you know? And then now the communication is broken down and then it's a brawl. But if someone taps me nice and easy with a head kick and grazes me, I'm like, I'll smile at them. And then that way they feel like they don't have to go even harder so that they know I got hit. Does that make sense? Little acknowledgements. I mean, don't mess up the flow of the fight. You don't have to stop and bow each time they kick you with it, whatever. <laughs> but little acknowledgements, a smile, a look, a fist bump will go a long way. Uh, decrease. Decrease the intensity. Decrease the speed, right? A perfect example of this, right, is if... JC, come here, please. JC's got good technique. JC's got good power. He throws a head kick. Go ahead. Whoop. He throws it slow. He throws it light. And then... I don't, pop, 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 right? I decrease my speed. So if he throws a head kick, I know he's throwing light and then I'll come back fast, but I'll go a little lighter. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So decrease the intensity when they're throwing good controlled shots. Uh, uh, decrease the intensity uh, when you see them getting tired. Um, so if they're, if they're winded, right? Don't keep hitting them hard, right? Throw a lot of shots, pepper them you know, a little bit but always decrease the intensity. That way it never boils over. And the last one is give. Uh, give them opportunities to work. Yeah. So if you're going with someone that's not your skill level, yeah, or if you feel like, I uh, can't get anything out of this, give them space, give them, give them time to think and move, right? Maybe I'm gonna, this round I'm going like a white belt. So I'm only gonna work on my left hooks or my inside kick, but I'm not just gonna keep smashing them. So I think with all those terms in mind, I think that's what prevents, because uh, this isn't as easy as jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu, you could go under control. It's slower. You can get your grips on someone. With sparring, it's very hard to gauge someone's intensity. And other key points, right? If you're pulling your hand back past your shoulder hip line, yeah, it's a little too hard. Right? If you're... Uh, Grunting really loud and throwing fast, that's a little too much. And if you're like kind of a spaz, don't do that. Spaz, I mean a lot of spins, a, little, a lot of jumps, a lot of same technique in a row, right? Stop throwing right hooks, right? Mix it up, move around. So don't pull back, don't grunt a lot, and don't be a spaz. Um, but yeah, at any time, no, it means no. Like even if you're halfway done with a round with someone, like I don't feel like it. you're getting a little too crazy. 
Like, I, and especially they throw a fit about it. Come on, you pussy. Like, you're just justifying my decision even more. Like, we're here to just, like, work and get a sweat, and we're not trying to win the UFC championship with Southern Nevada. Talk, tell them. I don't know what verbiage you want to use, but hey, easy, or like, let's tone it down, or whatever, but nonverbal stuff doesn't work. Uh, theme of the game of tag, right? And then it'll slow everything down. Acknowledge, that was a good shot. That was a good whatever, but let them know that you know you got hit. That way they don't make it obvious. Uh, decrease the intensity when things get a little too hype and give them space, give them opportunity to work. That's it. Nimble tiger tags, all dainty goats. And it gets just that weird visual speaks for this. It's kind of like golden rules of sparring for beginners or for like intergender championship of the world. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.